Hello and welcome to John Tiller, East Prussia 1914 and we're playing a tutorial. Learn how to play the game uh, because I do like John Tiller games as well. Okay, uh, I've just been messing around a little bit thus far to, with the tutorial and you'll see that we're still learning the game I have all three of the 1914 campaigns, East Prussia, Serbia, and France. And at some point in time, I think we'll play a full campaign game once I'm trained, quote, trained. Uh, and I think there's a large, massive full campaign if you have all three of these. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure of that, and we will have a actual playthrough. The only objective remaining is 150 point objective around Idikun. This one will not fall so easily. You will have to fight for it. So let's find out if anything in Idikun continue to move the Cossack unit one more hex. Looks like we t lost six men. Contact a German unit should now appear in the map. If it fired on you, then you would quickly would likely have inflicted substantial losses. Left click now on the unit. Enemy unit. Looks like it's the first infantry division. You can observe first this unit is the first cavalry information. Now that the Cossack unit has been moved away, let's go to the regular Russian cavalry unit, 11-7, 3rd Smolensk Lancer Regiment. mouse button on the portrait.
come under enemy fire. Sit there. Prepare for our attack on Heidegen. We now need to bring up the other units. The 3rd Russian Dragoon Regiment, Hex 12-6. Okay. Select the unit and move it to the other unoccupied 50-point objective. Select the first cavalry brigade's HQ at 12-6 and move it one hex to the northwest of where it is. Northwest. Finally, select the 3rd Horse Artillery Battalion. Twelve fill guns. Okay. And is in travel mode, meaning that it is limbered up and able to move field artillery. Excuse me, director of fire to the machine gun units cannot fire while in travel mode. One thing important to know is that in order for these units to deploy from travel mode, they require full their full movement allowance. So once you move these types of units this turn, then you will not be able to exit travel mode until your next turn. And this represents the time it takes them to get into position set up ready themselves to conduct effective offensive fire and it relegates these units to historical defensive roles. That said, these units do not expend their full movement when entering travel modes, limbering up and moving away is much quicker to do. With all this in mind, the field gun unit must be moved forward but not too close to the enemy so that we avoid a situation where the guns are shot at and in their vulnerable limbered state on the enemy's turn. In some cases it makes sense to risk it and send the guns to set up adjacent to the enemy, but in this case we'll play it safe and avoid losing valuable victory points to unnecessary and expensive gun losses. So move the field gun unit to hex 10-6. Okay. Which should be occupied by the now dismounted third minutes. All right. Now I've moved all your units. I can move the remaining two HQ units or fixed place during the scenario. Click the intern button, which has the appearance of wrist match. Okay, let's go ahead and unlimber these guys. Okay. Click the intern button, which is the appearance of the wristwatch. Once you do that, it's your turn one out. And in the enemy A, I will play its turn. Reinforcements have arrived. Turn two. Once the eye is played through its turn, your command report will be displayed again.
which recovered units, which units recovered losses. Yeah, we didn't even see any of that, so, or I clicked too fast. Once you've closed the command report, it's, let's deploy and move those reinforcements that have just arrived. Okay, cool. Okay, so once you double click on the new, it will then appear in the max. So, handy in our attack on any, so we should move it in that direction. First, let's leave this unit where it is and come back to it later. Now, I'll select the third Smolensk. Okay, so that's it. All right. Hold the control key. Okay, so we got six men. In this case, only five casualties were inflicted in this unit, which was not disrupted. If it were not disrupted, then D, then a D would have been displayed in the result on the attack. Your goal should always be to disrupt the enemy before assaulting to take the hex. So let's proceed with further attacks since initial one was quite ineffective. I'll go to 10-5 and select the third. Moving across the enemy's front. Okay. 
Okay, let's fire on these guys. Okay, so there's seven mana disrupted, they fired back. Six mana disrupted. Okay. Total of five versus 29 casualties is a terrible exchange. And it is a result of I mean, you being in better quality and being fortified in covered buildings. Blown away. But we just have to keep blown. You should try to move around and isolate the German infantry with, which will weaken it by isolation effects. Morales. Nine eight. Moving them to seven. be cut off and isolated. So guaranteed success, but it will certainly make it easier to disrupt them. We have a couple of options at this point. We can move the horse artillery Jason. I'm duking down, knowing that the mean it here can no longer use up. So give up another turn that it may be able to fire. So trying to have it exercise more effective fire later. Then moving the unit close will also make it vulnerable to enemy fire on the enemy's turn. And it deploys the fire the next turn. Left click on the X Canadian there. Next, uh, this is, and this is important, we need to move our first cavalry brigade HQ4 to continue maintain effective command of our dragoons. 1st the thing left to do is move the third machine gun forward. Before we do this, let's explore another useful feature, shading movement range. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh shit, we can move it all the way up. That's cool. Select the mission gun and move it to hex 10-6. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Okay, that unit's... Nice. Well, I'm digging this game. This game is fun. Artillery's coming in, hitting them hard again. I wonder if this is a 500 page manual. Okay, three out of three HQs, uh, two units low in ammo, and one unit check. Okay, I gotta go back up to see how to, what the supply button is. Okay. Once you guys play through its turn again, view the command report, press OK again. No one reinforcements turn. Let's get down to business of overrunning Eindunkin. This is where things may greatly differ between the tutorial and the results on the end. Given random variables, that said, what we basically want to do is bombard the horse artillery, then deploy the mission gun company so it'll be able to fire on it. Next turn, if need be. And then open fire with the two cavalry regiments that are adjacent to the village. Somewhere throughout the process. I hope that the German battalion comes disrupted and that makes it prime target for assault. Basically, once disrupted, unit is assaulted. We get pushed back and then non disrupted daggers advance to the next hex. Capture it. You can. Of course, assault without disrupting this vet at first, and there are times when you will want to do this, but assaulting a non-disrupted defender will mean heavier losses and a chance that the hex will not be taken. Continuing the situation described in this tutorial, the German after battalion is surrounded and is now isolated. We know this because the German unit card says isolated. Being isolated, we know that this unit is suffering a quality of morale, loss of one level, and may also be low on ammo. 
We never really know if an enemy unit is low on animal other than by getting it to fire at our units and observing the effectiveness of its fire. All of these things should combine to make it much easier to disrupt the unit with fire. Starting with the 3rd Horse Artillery Battalion. Hold the control and right click on the German unit. Okay, now select the smart lancer nine seven. Okay. Fucked up. Since the enemy is Iceland. Okay, so I messed up. unit
Assault, select the unit, and then without holding control. Ah, uh, I didn't want to do that. have enough movement points of assault. Okay. At this point, you should see the word attack in the lower left. Let's go ahead and end the turn and we'll see if we can... <sighs> I messed that, I messed that up. It's still isolated, but they moved that Cossack or that reconnaissance unit up. We'll assault it this turn. The last turn, anyways, we'll use our machine gun. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and shell this unit. units in the way. Really? <sighs> well, let's try it again. No effect. No effect.
Okay, let's see. Okay, so we did push him out. Awesome. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Far to relieve the isolate. Well, let's see if we can... What? Okay, so we took the village. Awesome. Let's start firing in the generative. Uh. Okay, well, let's end our turn, see what happens. Ooh, they're right up. Interesting. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we'll win this. Then I can upload this, and you guys let me know what you think. Hopefully they're not able to... no effect, okay. Time limit reached in the scenario. Allied victory, Order of St. George. Awesome. Okay, so we lost... 109 men. Okay, at any point in time, the music can stop. Okay, apparently it's not. So, we lost 109 men. Men point losses, 9. They lost 104, point loss of 7, but we still won with a major victory of 250 points. Okay. Awesome. Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, end it there. I might, I might play this again tomorrow, the tutorial by myself. And then read a little bit up on the uh, read up a little bit up on the uh, manual. Maybe tomorrow at work if I don't got anything going on throughout the day. But uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. More John Tiller, uh, Serbia next, France. What do you guys think? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.